My name is Kathy Nobles, one of the counselors here at CA Gray. I'm here to talk to you today about scholarships and preparation. We want you to be able to um, prepare yourself to receive a scholarship because you, want, you do not want to wait until the last minute. One of the things that you need to know is that you do not have to wait until you are a junior or a senior to receive a scholarship. Scholarships can start as early as the elementary and middle school. So you can begin by searching, um, googling, uh, the web page, making sure um, that you find the right scholarships for you. You can Google it, you can um, go out to the internet and you can put in, um, you can research fastweb.com and amongst some other things you can just Google whatever scholarship you're looking for in particular, you can Google, Google it or you can go on georgiafutures.org um, and you can also look for scholarships there. And you can begin now. I would suggest that you begin as early as middle school because you shouldn't wait too late um, to receive a scholarship. So what you need to do to prepare uh, things like volunteer, volunteer work. It's good in the community to go out um, into your church or into um, even the hospital here. The local hospital has, uh, Cocker County Regional uh, Medical Center has um, volunteer uh, forms that we here at CA Gray give out uh, the application here and you can go and volunteer and they will give you um, the scholarship money when you graduate so for however many hours you put in at the uh, the um, hospital you can earn that many dollars when you graduate they will give you that in scholarship money so you can do that starting as early as eighth grade eighth through twelfth grade you put in the hours they give you the dollars um, that's one way you can get a scholarship. But as far as just preparing for scholarships, when you um, fill out an application for a scholarship, one of the things that we um, like to see on the application is your community service. How well ro uh, rounded are you? How well rounded are you? you uh, we want to make sure that you know that um, we're looking for someone who is balanced with their schoolwork, making um, good grades as well as uh, trying to go out into the community to give back um, to the needy it could be uh, feeding the homeless going to an animal shelter volunteering um, the food bank, donating, different things like that. You can definitely um, go to the nursing home. That would be a great volunteer um, project that you can do, as well as church. If you work with um, young people in your church, the daycare, different things like going um, on a mission trip, that would be wonderful. And we want you to put all of those things in your application. Also, we want to make sure that you receive um, a great recommendation letter when you are filling out your application. And the, the way you can prepare for that is you never know when you need a great recommendation letter. So, if you have a teacher um, right now that you are not doing well in that classroom or that you are being rude and disrespectful, you'll never know when you need them. Um, because when you look back on it, you want to be able to come back to a teacher that you had um, in the past and say, you, you know, you just remind them who you are, and you come back and you say, well, will you write me a recommendation, a letter of recommendation. Um, also, uh, what you can do besides volunteer work is build your vocabulary. Start making sure you're, you're looking things up, you're researching things, because when you start writing your essay to go on your um, scholarship or your application, we want to hear um, appropriate age level um, uh, vo uh, vocabulary that's going to fit your age. Uh, so build your vocabulary now and you want to practice um, writing your essays. Get your literature teacher, um, your language arts teacher to look over your essays for you to make sure that um, it's grammatically correct, make sure that the sentences are um, sounds good. You want to make sure you do all of those things to prepare yourself. The different places that you can look for scholarships are out in the community. You can look online. You can look in um, uh, local businesses. You can look uh, uh, into funeral homes or sororities and fraternities, different types of clubs. And 
also your church. You can look for um, scholarships there. You can also volunteer at all of these places to build your resume. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to mention to you about is the um, HOPE, the HOPE uh, grants that we have. When you uh, are a senior, um, we make sure that we are, we want to make sure that you are checking behind yourself, making sure that you have everything that you need. But prior, prior to becoming a senior and getting the HOPE grant, it actually starts when you're in the ninth grade. So you need to make sure uh, right now the requirements are you need four uh, rigor classes and you also need to make sure you have a 3.0. So I'm going to show you how do you go and check to make sure you have uh, rigor courses online. So just follow me. Alright, okay. All right, so what you can do is go to georgiafutures.org and this is for looking for um, the rigor courses um, for HOPE to see if you qualify for HOPE. After you go to georgiafutures.org, click on HOPE and state aid programs. Scroll down to HOPE and Zell Miller scholarships. Click on that. Scroll down again. Click on eligibility for HOPE scholarships. And you can scroll all the way down to the bottom. It says eligibility for the HOPE Scholarship. Once you get to the bottom, it says Academic Rigor Courses. And here's the list for the different Academic Rigor Courses. Like I said before, for the HOPE um, Rigor to make sure you're receiving your HOPE Scholarship or the HOPE Grant, make sure um, that you are aware that you only need four rigor courses and um, you do not necessarily have to take all honors and AP courses to receive the uh, HOPE uh, scholarship. You can take things like uh, chemistry that's considered rigor, a rigor course. You can take your um, whatever your second foreign language is, whether it's Spanish 2 or Latin 2 or American Sign Language 2. You can um, also use that as a rigor course. Um, make sure that you are looking at um, things like your 11th grade and your 12th grade math uh, class. Those are considered uh, rigor courses as well. Um, so any second year term or any um, things like on here you have your statistics and if you scroll down it gives you all the math courses. Um, and you can see a wide variety of, of courses. So this is where you would look. So just remember the directions that I've given you. Um, there are about t at least 10 pages on this page. So make sure you keep going to the HOPE and State Aid programs and that will take you to the uh, information to get your um, HOPE scholarship and the rigor course requirements. If you have any questions, you can contact any of the counselors here at CA Gray. Uh, again, this is um, Kathy Nobles, ninth grade counselor, signing off. Thank you.